y'all need to just go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the comments right quick because I'm actually posting on time. Like what world is this? I never post on time. <laughs> Procrastination is definitely my worst enemy. So you guys, it is week two of the random nail challenge here on YouTube. And the first one, we did pretty good. Like, I'm really not mad at the first set. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that first before you come to this one. So my goal is for every single week, I have to beat the week before. So no matter what I get randomly, it has to be better than the previous week. So we gonna see how we do, cause you know, sometimes whatever be coming out in this little box be a little iffy, but I'm gonna believe in myself. I can do it. I think each and every time I do it, I like build my confidence more and more. So like, I'm kinda excited about this one. I don't even wanna ramble on. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. Hold on, wait, before we get into the video. Let's go ahead and do our notification shout outs. These are my three people for today's notification shout outs. Thank you guys so much for having your post notification turned on. And if you would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can be one of the first three people to comment on my videos and that way you will get a shout out in my very next video. Now, we can get into the video. Okay, so as y'all can see, my table's empty, I don't have my box. So what had happened was, <laughs> the box is lost. I don't know where the devil that box is. I've been looking for it for the past 20 minutes, but something just told me just look for an app for like a random picker thingy or whatever. I found something called the Lucky Wheel. So I went on and put everything, like everything from the challenge, every category with the nails and everything like that on the app. So literally all I have to do is like click this button right here and it'll randomly pick whatever category I'm in. So that's what we're doing. I have no clue why I didn't think of this the first time because I mean, y'all should have saw me writing each little thing on those little piece of papers and trying to put them in a box and try to keep up with that. Thank God for technology. But I'm gonna screen record so y'all can see, I'm not cheating. I'm literally gonna pick whatever pops up. That's what I'm picking. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and screen record right quick. So, okay, so y'all see we have theme, colors, number of colors, nail shape and nail length. I wasn't able to put all of the themes there where it says theme. Y'all can see I only have 10 themes in there and I had a lot of themes in that box. So I'm just gonna alternate them every now and again. I might take one out and add another one in or whatever just to keep it fresh. But we're gonna start with number of colors like we always do. We have all numbers. It's basically numbers one through six. So let's see what we get. <laughs> All right, tap this man. Okay, we got five. I don't know why it took me a minute to see that. Okay, so we have five, five, five color. Okay, that just settled in. We have five colors. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of colors. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have to pick five different colors. So let's go to colors right here. So I'm still gonna be picking from the double dip colors from the two kits from double dip that I picked from last video. So that's what's here on this wheel. Whatever the name that comes up, that's basically what I'll have to use. And I have to pick five of them. All right, let's pick our first color, let's go. Color number one. Fairy cotton, that's, if I remember correctly, that's a pink color. So that's like a pretty light pink color. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that so I can remember. That's our first color. Second color, let's see. Ah, Kayla Love, I'm not sure what color that is. I'm just gonna put it on the screen so I can see it. So that's our second color. This is making me like dead nervous. Champagne gold, so that's obviously a gold, which is an accent color. Okay. Emerald. How many, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, I'm just sitting over here spinning. How many colors was that? One, two, three, four. So that was four colors. We have one more color to pick, so let's do it. 
All right, last color, last color. Let it be something good. Black like my heart, which is a... <laughs> okay. This is making me nervous. Okay, we got a lot going on with those colors. I'm already a little nervous. Up next, let's go to our theme. This has got to be good. Okay, all right, y'all. Moment of truth. Pick the theme. French! I think I can do this. I think we can figure something out. About five ideas just ran through my head just now, so I think I think we're good. We're good. Now let's 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 go to shape. Let's do it. So let's pick a shape. Coffin. So we got a coffin shape. I'm good on coffin. We can do a coffin. That's fine. That's fine. I say this every time we go to length. Anything but short. I can do anything but short nails. But you know what? Last time I kept saying, oh, I can do anything but lipstick. This was for the shape. But for the shape for last time, I was like, I can do anything but lipstick. Anything but lipstick. And then I ended up picking lipstick. So let me just shut my mouth right now. Positive vibes with the length. Positive vibes. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna just gonna spin. Let's just spin. Let's do it. You really get to go crazy with extra long. That's why I love doing extra long. So I'm good with the extra long. Is that everything? Did we pick everything? No length, no shape, no colors, no thing. Okay, we picked everything. All right, so let's recap. So for colors, we have Fairy Cotton, Kayla Love, Champagne Gold, Emerald, and Black Like My Heart. A lot going on with that. And then we have a French theme, shape coffin, extra long length. I think we have something. I think. I think I got something in my head, but we about to find out together. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get to the struggle. So before I get started, I have to remove this that I have right here. I'm gonna do a removal off camera, but if you guys want to see how to remove acrylic, I'm gonna put the video up on my Instagram. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram so you can see it. But let's do a quick little transition. And there you have it. I wish it was that quick to take acrylic off. And now we can get started. Now before we can get into colors, we have to put our tips on. Now I'm not gonna prep my nails. Y'all know I always pop them off right after. But if you wanna know how I prep, I have a video of that up on my channel now so you guys can go check that out. But, all right, so I picked extra long coffin nail tips. So we have to extend these a little bit longer than what they are. That's how they're looking right there. And that's too short for extra long. We need these things about like right there. I don't know, whatever. We're gonna figure it out. So let's just go ahead and put these nail tips on. So we got our KDS nail glue. Now, if you look closely in two of these little slots, and this one and that one, we're missing a lot of nail tips. That's because I'm running out. I think it's the nail tips that fits like this middle finger right here. So I might have to improvise. These are just all different sizes thrown on one thing. So I don't even think all of these are the same size. Cause like, look how small that one is. And then look how big this one right here is. These don't even look like they match either. Okay. I'm just gonna have to do some major shaping. These, it looks like they fit, but they don't. It gives me too much space on the side, so. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda cut the corners a little bit just so it can fit. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just a matter of shaping. So see how my thumb is the same way. It's like extra space on those corners that we don't need. Let me get my scissors. Got my little scissors. Ooh, that was a little bit more than the other side, but look how that fits perfectly. Now to elongate the nail a little bit, I'm gonna use one of the biggest nail tips simply because I will never use this. None of my fingers are this big. So I can utilize this and it'll keep me from utilizing a size that I need. Boo y'all. Let's chop this little top piece off. I'm just go in on them sides. I gotta really hold my nail. 
so it don't pop on me. I want to go for a more of like a skinny coffin. This can look good in the end, but I feel like the acrylic will fill it out a lot more. So fingers crossed. Now I have to do the rest of my hands. And the rest of my hands. There we go. They look crazy now, but just give me a second, y'all. gonna go ahead and stop while I'm ahead. Y'all see how skinny and small these look? I think they're too skinny. Like, look at that. And I don't like that. Look how that looks. I can possibly build on it with the acrylic, but it's all about foundation. If your foundation is gonna be jacked up, then the whole thing is gonna be jacked up. So, um, let's start over. I'm about to cry because I just did the most work. This actually could have been a cute short set. Look how cute that is. Okay, so y'all remember those two little tips from my last video? I had to bring them back because those worked pretty good. So I feel like that's a good place to cut it off at right there. That's pretty extra long, right? Right. And then take it in at the sides. Okay, okay, okay. All right, once I file it, it'll look better, but I think that looks way better than that those little sticks I had on my fingertips. You know, sometimes you just gotta start over and try again. Don't these look better, y'all? These look 10 times better. They're still slender, but they're not as like small as they were before. So I'm happy with this. So now we can move on to acrylic. So since we have to do the French, I'm kind of glad we lucked out with this nude color. But for a French, it's a little dark. But y'all, yeah, we just going to have to roll with it and just hope for the best. Ugh. I don't think I've ever been stumped like this. Like, this is really stumping me. In this video, I will be using acrylics from Double Dip Store. They are a small local business in Texas, and all of their products are cruelty-free and vegan. They have so many different nail products to choose from, and they're super affordable and easy to use. Not only are their powders acrylic, but they double as a dip powder as well. You can find all of these colors that I'm using in this video and more on their site. You can click the link in the description down below and use my code for money off of your purchase. So I'm going to be using Young Nails Monomer. Look at my brush, y'all. My brush clearly need a little bit of TLC. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start, even though I'm not sure how I'm about to do this, but we're going to start with a French. We're going to use um, this nude color. So hopefully it's not too too dark or anything like that but let's see so i want y'all to know right now that i'm about to struggle with this french as i always do this is like the most nerve-wracking thing doing french from scratch i do not like this already but it's okay. We can struggle together. All right? Am I right? So I kind of want this French to like drop down a little bit more. Yeah, I want it to go a little lower. Y'all about to see me struggle? Yeah, I'm telling y'all, with this, especially dealing with me, we are gonna have to trust the process. All right, let's just go ahead and Okay, I'm getting a little confident. Something is peeking through. Get a smaller bead. Oh, that was so messy. So messy. I'm like very messy today. Not the messy application. 
okay so i feel like this is good but i want to make the the french line a little deeper like i want it to come down a little bit more and i feel like i'm about to mess it up but we're gonna try it let's 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 go for it might as well right let's go in with some more product. struggle like this this is really what be going down behind the scenes y'all like for real i don't know i might have messed it up it is what it is <laughs> okay y'all we made it through and it don't look bad it looks decent and i did the middle finger and and y'all listen it's gonna look bad okay it's not gonna look the best right now but with the french we gotta trust the process uh, Y'all gonna watch me struggle on camera one last time. I'm just gonna start lower on the nail so I don't have to like go back in. Ooh. Okay, this one, this one laid a little bit better. It wasn't running all over the place. That's a good start. I might just put a little bit more at the tip because like y'all can see this one is a tad shorter than that one and I want them to be like at the same level. You love to run away from me now. You got delay. Okay, now this one was a little easier. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I can breathe now. Make it just a tad longer. And that really should do it right there, honestly. Okay, these look a tad messy, but like I said, y'all, trust the process so i don't know if this is how other people do the acrylic french tip but this is how i do it so i'm gonna go in with my nail file and just make the smile line as crisp as possible i'm gonna go in and just file 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 until i'm satisfied my file always slips <laughs> just like that. We're getting some, uh, getting some, uh. It's good to kind of like go at it at an angle like that, just so you can really get in the crevices and make that line as straight as possible. And then that way it doesn't slip every two seconds. Oh, that look real crusty at the cuticles, but now we're ready to fill in i know i look real ashy and a mess right now but i don't even care at the moment i think i'll start with this one for the thumb look at that shimmer now the thing that i love about doing french is that you don't have to be uniform like you can do whatever you want with it and it'll still come out looking really pretty like it doesn't have to be neat. <gasps> Ooh, I kinda like that. But you're looking pretty good. I'm gonna have a mess on my hands with this glitter, but the glitter is so bomb. Okay, so I think I wanna do a marble of this pink and emerald color. So let's try, make sure to keep it really wet. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Make sure to keep that shape too, guys. 
looks really yummy. I make sure my brush is really watery when doing marble with acrylics. It just makes it easier. On this side. Pink up here. And I'm really not even like doing anything special. Just making sure I'm going in with both with a wet brush. don't like it i should have did the pinky like a gold like this gold and that kind of would have brought everything together a little better it looks very dark uh, we're, we're, we're gonna keep it rolling i'm gonna file all of the excess off with one of my drill bits i usually use this one got these from double dip by the way you can use my code for money off of your order. But I use this one to debulk everything. So we can see that nice French smile on underneath. Y'all look at that color. Oh my gosh, I do not like how the nude look the nude is way too dark it's exactly how i knew it was gonna be but i mean that's what we got to work with as you can see the french is showing it's out to play so after i go ahead and debulk what i do is take this right on off put it back where it belongs there we go and then i take just a regular sanding band to smooth everything out because after debulking you see like we got a lot going on and it's not really too smooth like look at that Ooh. i'm gonna go ahead and kind of level everything out And then after that, to get rid of all of the scratches, I'll take my buffer and just buff everything out. So I'll just wash my hands and they look a little ashy, but when we cap it off, hopefully it doesn't look that way anymore. I just want y'all to know that I've been at this for hours. Like this video is probably gonna be like 25 minutes. But I've been at this literally for five hours now. <laughs> Don't ask me why it take me so long. I just like taking my time. I'm gonna run some monomer down. This way we can fill it right on out. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like this thumb is throwing everything off, but I had to put the gold somewhere. Y'all, the closer and closer we get to the end, the more nervous I get about this set, the more I don't like this set. I don't know, like the colors aren't really going together. All right, we're just gonna trust the process. Let's see. I love a good dusty nail. I done lost all confidence in this set. Like, I don't know where to go with this, but I have an idea that can either make it better or just ruin it all together. So, um, we're gonna see if this makes or breaks this set. I wanted to bring like some gold in this part. Really kind of outline the whole French in gold. 
But like I said, that can either make it better or that can either just make it look a hot mess. I'm just gonna take my fine liner and outline the whole nail with gold. thing to the two in the middle and we're gonna leave it alone like that's gonna be it oh that looks pretty y'all i really like it matt okay let's just see how it looks glossy let's put a glossy top coat on is it still giving i'm gonna let you guys decide which one works better with the glossy or the matte because now that i made them all glossy i'm starting to like it i feel like if the nude wasn't so dark then this would be so cute i think the glossy i think the glossy works for this thumb because a uh, matte glitter is not really going to give the way it's supposed to so yeah y'all let me know because i'm going to do both so do y'all like the glossy Or do you guys like the matte better? Um, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. I might be in the middle because I'm really not sure which one I like better. I really thought I was gonna like the matte better than the glossy, but um, I'm kind of on the glossy side, but I don't know because I like the matte too. So I'm in the middle. So y'all let me know in the comments which one y'all like. Is it team matte or do you got team glossy? Let me know. Y'all, this one was a hard one for me. Y'all saw the struggle. Y'all saw it. And I'm not even going to lie. It, it's kind of growing on me. I really like the glossy. I'm feeling the glossy over the matte. But I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. Y'all tell me which one y'all like over the other. But the real question is, did the set from this week outdo the set from last week? Y'all let me know. This video was sponsored by Double Dip, so make sure you click the link in my bio and go check them out. You can also use my code for money off of your purchase. I'm going to shake things up for next week's random nail set and do things a little bit differently, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.